Hello guys and welcome to Yarelina's Yugun Nursery. Here I am with Mr. Kevin and he is such a bald headed today. He doesn't have any hats. Um, and I wish you could touch this super soft bald head. It's just, I love to have him like during the night. I just remove the hat and enjoy him bald. <laughs> I want to root him though. We're going to change him. I'm sorry, I moved the tripod a little bit. Let me move it a little bit back. Okay, so I want to to root him, of course, but I'm almost done with a rooting job that has taken me um, forever and a day, but I will be painting all the vinyl projects that I had before so I cannot root him but I just want to root him I want to do many things but I can't <laughs> so we're going to put on him I was thinking to put this with this long sleeve onesie but it's super hot today so I'm thinking over it if I just put the romper and let him you know without a shirt and without socks or anything or if i go with the onesie so i will be removing the clothing in the meanwhile while i think what i'm going to do with him um and he is the um kellan sculpt at maisa zaid side or said and he was painted by Mr. and Mrs. Smith, if you already don't meet him before. Um, and I bought him both, very excited, and I told the artist, you know what, don't worry, because I'm going to root him. And I have been with him, I don't know how many months, I think he's going to be a year with me on October, I believe, I'm, I'm not sure, but he's very close to a year with me. <laughs> so... This is how it works. It's like you really don't rush to do your own babies. And I really enjoy him. As I'm telling you, even the bald head, I enjoy him. And this diaper looks so girly on him, right? So we are going to change that diaper. And I will continue telling you guys that we were talking, we are going to talk about how we feel how we react when um or what why we get upset when a collector sells a baby even if you're uh, following them on facebook instagram on youtube why we get so upset why we are just like oh i'm not going to follow her anymore because she saw the baby that i love and sometimes it's too to a collector that you really don't know who is it or is a private collector and you know you're not going to see that baby again so why is so upsetting why is the strange phenomenon that we bond with other collectors babies um i think i told in my last video we transmit to our viewers to our friends the babies we love um sometimes i'm like don't feel the sculpt um i remember when pickles was in the you know being released by nikki johnson before the prototypes i was like mm -mm, uh, pickle is not for me blah 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 <laughs> And two of my friends were crazy over it, talking constantly about that. And like, mm -mm. and suddenly that sculpt started growing on me. So, so yeah, I started looking at pickles with different eyes. And when I saw the prototypes, I was like, oh, I really love that chubby baby. I didn't see the potential at the moment, but when I saw the prototypes, um, I don't remember who was the one that I saw was blonde and I was like oh my goodness I love it so I don't know if I'm going to put this or to dress him completely <laughs> I'm sorry so let him 
let me put let him me... covered just with that just with the romper let's try it and another day we can add the the onesie long sleeve onesie even though Jaden and journey are very covered and he will not match them <laughs> oh my gosh what a dilemma okay so anyways um it happens that the more we see them the more we like them and sometimes we see him and and we still don't like it but most of the time like we are with that phenomenon like the more we see it the more we like it and sometimes like it happens a lot to a collector that I follow very closely and she has a YouTube channel so when I see she has a new baby sometimes it's not love at first sight sometimes it's just like blah to me but then I start seeing the baby more start seeing the movements or start seeing different features in different videos and I start loving the baby and then she sells them and I'm like no <laughs> I know the struggle but guys the truth is that we cannot keep all the babies we want we we would love to I think if money was not a problem and this all were not this expensive we all will not be collectors we will be hoarders because i think we think it twice we are more um i don't know more aware of what we're getting or what we want to add to our collection just because it's a lot of money involved but if wasn't i'm sure you all you all me included will be hoarders and will have a house full of dolls so um i think when you see and we you bond with a baby sometimes it's because there's a long time in the channel or in the person collection or you like how they prop them i follow a lady and she has a gorgeous laura gorgeous laura but she dressed her so pretty. And you know, there's hundreds and tons of Loras, but she dressed her so pretty. And she fixed her and take amazing pictures of her. So I saw she's selling her Laura. I'm like sad because I will not see her, you know? And I'm used to Go on Instagram and see her Laura, beautifully painted, beautifully fixed. She combed her hair beautifully. Um, her pictures are just impeccable. And then I'm like, oh, it's like a change. Um, and I don't like change. When I like something, I repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Some collectors like to have different... Um, to see different dolls. They get tired to see the same. I'm not like that. Um, even though I like to see different dolls, when I like a doll, I want to see more about that doll. I want to see more videos, even though if it's the person just changed the baby and is just still in the, in the screen without touching her or anything or touching the doll. I'm sorry, again. Um, I just I just feel like... I want to see that doll and um, there's channels that I stopped looking at them because they did not presented the babies that I liked they have a large collection and they stopped showing the babies that I like and I'm like mm -mm. I follow them because a couple of dolls that I liked and they don't show it anymore so and that's something, you know, when you have a, a large collection, you want to show them all, you want to change them all. But be, there's always a baby and sometimes the collectors tell you in the, you know, in the comment section that they like this particular baby. 
and they want to see it, they ask you to put that baby on camera because they like it. So it's a struggle, guys, when you bond with a baby because it happens to me a lot. And I, I have learned to um, be comprehensive with the collectors. Of course, it's a change. And if we don't like change, it's going to be disappointing at one point. But at the same time, it's just comprehension. Comprehension that this collector is just like you. They love dolls, but they cannot afford to keep them all. So there's no way we can keep them all. And sometimes there's medical bills, there's life, real life problems and economic things that come and it comes first. So we have to sell. That's the real truth that we hate, but it's there. So I think we bond with them because when you have your channel, at least I feel like when I start following channels, it's like if they open the doors of their home and let me get, get in and go to the nursery and sit down with them and chat. That's how I feel with some channels. And most of them, you know, they open their doors and they are open and share their collection, the box opening. Um, they share the changing. They share the good, the bad, and the ugly. So you feel so attached. And then they move on. They want an doll, and it happens a lot. Um, because this hobby is very expensive, so it's part of it, and and yeah, you cannot please everybody. So um, I feel like when it happens, it takes me a while to adjust my my point of view. It happens like I don't interested to see anymore, or I don't care too much. But you have to look why you're following the channel. Is only for the dolls that they have, or is just the personality of the person? In that case, you're not going to be like lost because you're following the collector. But when you're following the dolls, they have and they get rid of the dolls. Um, there's a channel that she was buying her home, and she sold or all, all her collection, almost all her collection were very expensive, high-end babies. And I remember a lot of people were talking about that badly. And I was like so happy she was investing that money that she invested in the dolls to buy a home. That's awesome. That's all we all want to have our own things. But at the same time, the collector selfish side is like, no, why you're selling that baby? I just follow you because of that baby. So it's a little bit of a struggle, but my advice is just to be comprehensive and also to follow people, not only for the dolls. Um, now I'm a little bit more um, cautious, let's say, of what people I, I follow or what people I want to follow their channels or whatever, the, their content. Because before I was like, oh, I like this baby. And I click um, uh, subscribe or, or follow. But then there was only that baby and she never showed that baby. So it was like a waste of time, like a little bit. And it was a little bit disappointing. So when you get to know, if you know, um, if you come across to a channel, um, see all the videos, see if you click with their personality, if you like them, how they are, and the dolls they have, but mostly the personality, the person behind the channel. Because... When they get rid of the dolls, if they do so, because even if you don't plan to do it, sometimes you have to, even if you don't want to do it. So that's my only advice to you to go a little bit deeper and not follow only the dolls because it happens to me, you know, when they, I, I was following only the doll and they do not present the doll again or they um, sell the doll very quickly. It's just like, a little bit disappointing because these dolls are so unique you're not going to see another doll exactly exactly the same so when you fall in love with one baby the particular sculpt the particular painting the rooting everything came together to do this masterpiece and then you 
are in love with the doll and then you cannot follow it because there is a lot of private collectors. They are not in social media. So yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle. But yeah, we bond with the babies. I'm a collector too. I was a collector first before painting and rooting um, babies. So for me, collecting comes first. I love watching YouTube. Um, I think it's my favorite platform, even though I go a lot to Instagram. My favorite platform is YouTube. So um, I do understand. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think, why you're, what you're looking when you first come across to a channel, what you're looking for. If you're looking for that click, like she caught your attention, the, the collector, the content creator, or if you're looking for the dolls. Let me know in the comments, guys, why you guys think, why you think you are so attached to some collectors, babies, um, how you feel when they sell them very quickly or sometimes after a long time that you have seen them with them in their channels and out of the sudden, the baby sold. Um, and let me know about your experiences without, with that. Um, Anyways, thank you so much for watching, for your time, and see you on to the next video, guys. Bye-bye.